Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, thank you for joining us today at our Exhibitor Technical Presentation webinar. Today, we have three speakers with us. Before we begin, just a quick housekeeping announcement. We are taking questions um, at this live webinar. So if you do have any questions, please feel free to submit them via the Q&A button at the bottom of your screen. With that, I shall hand over to our first speaker for today, Orhan from Inspire Labs. Or over to you. Thank you, Lars. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes, all good. Okay, that's great. So hello everyone and thank you for the opportunity. My name is O and I'm the VP of Business Development at Inspire Labs. And, and today I'm going to introduce you to the Lumina the first and only NAV mask in the whole world that reduce aerosolization. So in a few words about uh, aerosolization, when, when, when it comes to talk about aerosolization, we talk about two different hazards. The first one is pathogens that spread to the environment from the patient mouth. And the second hazard when we talk about aerosolization, it's uh, aerosolized drugs. When we give to a patient drugs, so it's spread to the environment, when we give to a patient drugs through NIV treatment, of course, it's spread into the environment and then the healthcare givers breathe it and it can, of course, cause them long-term uh, effects. And so because of the reason that NIV treatment is, uh, is, uh, is, is very dangerous in these terms, in these uh, manners, so the, um, the World Health Organization um, call it uh, aerosol generating, generating procedures, AGPs. AGPs, there are lots of daily routines, procedures that call the AGP. One of them is NAV, but as you can see in the, that list, we can also see high flow, intubation, uh, extubation, and all of that uh, um, daily routines. So um, because, because it's such a big uh, problem, of course, people and other companies before us try to solve this problem. So the main product until today that tried to solve the aerosolization problem through the uh, NAV treatment is the helmet. The helmet is approximately a helmet, like a bubble all over the face, and they really solve the problem they reduce the aerosolization as they wanted. There is no face, facial skin lesions. It's fit all faces autonomy and it's limited uh, air leaks. So in terms of aerosolization, they did a great job, but um, there are lots of other pro problems with this uh, kind of solution. It, it, con it causes some neck skin breakdowns, irritation, it's uncomfortable, it's claustrophobic. Just imagine yourself sitting with a helmet all over your face and you, you're having a hard time to breathe because you're having an NIV treatment, non-invasive ventilation treatment. So because of all of that, we came with the solution of the Lumina. We wanted to be very simple, comfortable and safe. And of course, to reduce aerosolization. Um, so as you can see in this slide, you can see the Lumina. It looks like any other NIV mess that you know in the market um, but what you can see in the right uh, slide that we divided it into two different layers and this is the main difference between the lumina and other mask there is no other mask in the world that works like that works like that and the the first layer in the blue area as you can see in the right illustration is providing the patient whatever you need, like any other mask. It's providing positive pressure air and with oxygen, drugs, whatever the patient needs. But we also have this red area um, that collects all the emission and suck it through the suction port. So if I will just try to make it clearer, there is two connections to other masks, to other masks, um, when all the other masks have only one connection. All the other masks have one connection to the um, positive pressure, to the CPAP, BiPAP, 
ventilator, whatever. And we also have another connector to the suction port that we have next to uh, every uh, bed in the hospitals in most of the countries. And it collects all the emission, just suck it through the suction port. So there is no emissions to the environment. Therefore, there is no aerosolization. Therefore, the healthcare giver are much more protectable. And this is the main difference. We focus on the healthcare giver while all the other masks only speaking about give the patient the best treatment. Of course, we did it also. All the other masks talking about being more comfortable. Of course, in that manner, we are doing a great job, but we also speak about the healthcare giver and giving them the best um, value that we can give them as a healthcare giver, the ones that take care of us. And I will show you in a small, in a short video, an illustration of how it works. So we try to visualize the emissions, the aerosolization with some friendly smoke. So we pump it to three different masks. This is the first one, it's common commercial mask. So as you can see, we pump it with smoke and the smoke is going out from all over the mask. It's not, I have to, to say something. It doesn't say that the mask is not good. The mask is perfect in terms of giving the patient whatever he needs. These two masks that we compare to them are great masks. But um, in terms of aerosolization, as you can see the smoke, they are horrible. So you can see also, this is another common commercial mask. The smoke is all over and now you are going to see the lumina. So as you can see, there is two connect connections. One is the positive pressure. In this time it's smoke. So as you can see the smoke, the same amount and pressure, of course. But there is a lot, another connector that you didn't see in the other uh, two masks that connects to the suction port. So there is no emissions at all. And uh, I think this video is very clear to understand how the mask works. And okay, so in this slide, you can see we did it in another way. We visualize it with in a dark room with a point of laser. laser. It's according to a well-known Japanese uh, um, trial. So as you can see, again, we took the common commercial masks and we pointed them with a laser and we tried to visualize again the aerosolization because we can't see it in our regular life and the healthcare givers can't see it in the regular lives. Um, in the regular routine. So as you can see here, again, the right picture is the Lumina. You can see there is no emission at all. And you can see other common commercial masks with spreading all the, all the aerosolization to the environment. Um, here we did it in a more, let's say, scientific way. We did it with the counter concentration. So as you can see, we can't really compare it by, um, um, very high amounts next to the Lumina. The Lumina is the blue ones, of course, and the, the other masks to other masks, the, the other uh, graphs is to other masks. And you can see the graphs is in different sizes of particles and in 18 centimeters of H2O um, pressure, of course. So you can see 0.3 micron, 0.5 micron till uh, 18 micron. So this is the amounts of um, of the spreading of particles through the mask that we count with the, con the particle concentration. When we're talking about regulatory approval, regu regulatory pre pre um, path, sorry, and where we you can find the Lumina today. So we are working on FDA and CE. Actually, CE, we submitted the technical five file, sorry, two, two weeks ago. So we, um, we hope to have the CE in five months from now, the FDA in seven months. But until now, we're already working and selling in Canada, in Israel, of course, uh, in Japan, South Korea. And we're working on regulatory approval also in Australia. When it comes to South America, we, we started with Brazil and Colombia. And, um, and that's it. So if you have any question, you can just... Uh, send it through the chat and that's it for me.
Thank you. Thank you so much, R. Um, so yes, to the audience, if you have any questions, please feel free to submit them via the Q&A button at the bottom of the screen. So while you're doing that, uh, let's give them some time to, to load in their questions. Uh, meanwhile, we will move on to our second speaker for today. Over to you, Arnold. Arnold, are you there? <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm here. I'm perfect. <laughs> okay, over to you then. No, I, I didn't know if you were waiting about um, the, the questions or we moved directly to uh, our presentation. Yeah, no worries. We'll wait for the questions to come in. But meanwhile, you can start with your presentation. Perfect. Perfect. That's great. Well, good afternoon, uh, everyone. Um, um, uh, thank you um, uh, very much uh, for joining uh, AB Medica Group uh, Lisa presentation. Uh, I will, um, if you don't mind, uh, share my screen as well with the presentation. I think it's uh, it's um, it's uh, showing now. Yes. Um, so I'm very happy uh, that you are here today and uh, to exhibit again at uh, the Medical Fair um, Asia in Singapore. Uh, to meet our partners in Asia and, uh, and add new ones. Um, so uh, today I would like to explain how um, we can help you develop recurrent business with the sale of uh, LESA medical consumables. Um, our experience um, and your knowledge of uh, your own market uh, together um, with LESA quality price are keys um, of our success together. So we started as, um, as a Medica group in the 1970s uh, as um, a distributor of large medical equipment brands uh, to become today a leader in our national markets. Um, rapidly, uh, we recognized the need of um, manufacturing medical consumable. Uh, so in the 1984, uh, we created LISA, uh, our brands, and um, today we are a global leader in the medical recording papers and also uh, known uh, for good quality uh, price medical consumables. Huh? All these uh, to create a recurrent business, as you can see in the presentation. This is uh, our objective and also um, to help you uh, create recurrent business. So um, we specialize in the medical recording papers and we can manufacture them for all the brands, all the models of equipment. Of course, um, all the consumable we manufacture are, are CE or um, have a declaration of conformity if the C doesn't apply. Um, um, our paper is OEM quality, uh, bisphenol A3, uh, warranted 10 years after trace. Um, we also uh, use a packaging that is transport proof uh, to make sure um, um, the consumables we manufacture, and especially here the paper arrives in good selling condition when you receive them after crossing the oceans. Um, but uh, more important, um, you can count on us uh, to identify um, easily all the references uh, your client uh, ask uh, to help you uh, sell more paper every day. Um, after uh, manufacturing the paper, we also added the disposable electrodes, the ultrasound gels and ECG gels, the mouthpieces for spirometry. Uh, all. Um, um, the consumable we manufacture have a quality similar to the top brands at a much better prices. Well, I invite you to, to check and that's the best. Um, uh, samples are available. Um, we can compare prices and that's, um, that's um, the best we can offer. Of course, um, 
we try to to help you with um, uh, different sizes when we talk about um, electrode, um, different packaging and and prices uh, to adjust to the diff to to your client's need, and try to be always more competitive, uh, um, both for the um, um, well not naming the papers, but both for the um, and disposable electrodes and, um, and ultrasound gels. We are tender winner globally, including in Singapore. Um, um, regarding the, the mouse pieces for spirometry, um, well, they are individually packed, um, which uh, for better hygiene, we use virgin pepper and all these, um, I think um, our product is uh, is better priced. So, well, I invite you to check if uh, if it is something you are looking for um, uh, for your consumable in spirometry. Of course, we have all the the references huh? uh, for all the brand, all the mobile as for the paper. Huh? Um, so, uh, in a nutshell, uh, what uh, are the advantages to partner with Lisa? Um, well, first of all, Lisa quality, uh, the competitive prices we can offer, plus the possibility to source all your papers and, um, and uh, consumable with us uh, to save in transport. So you can source uh, at the same place. Um, we offer availability because we stock the main references and also an experienced partner uh, to develop your business. Uh, which is, um, I think, something um, very helpful every day. So what do we understand uh, by um, a partner to develop your business? Well, a dedicated export manager that um, uh, we will um, provide quick response to quotes and tender, help you with reg registration, provide free sample, um, neg negotiated price to help you uh, win tenders and market, and um, negotiate transport prices for every order. We are already present on the five continents, even though we would like to consolidate in, um, in different countries, especially in Asia. So we started in Spain, our, our own uh, market, and naturally um, developed quickly to Europe, have a very strong presence in America, especially Central, and South America, where we sell in most of the countries, we are developing uh, in in Africa, and uh, um, where we also organize fair. We participated in uh, in the actually the um, medical fair in uh, in Johannesburg. Um, we are present in uh, in the Southeast Asia, um, Thailand, uh, Indonesia, Vietnam. Uh, we had uh, sales in, uh, in Sri Lanka uh, before, and before the, um, it became a bit complicated um, uh, in, in, um, in, um, in, um, in, uh, in uh, Myanmar, um, uh, in Philippines, etc. Uh, and, and also, of course, Singapore. I was about to, to forget about it. Uh, but it's a, it's a very good uh, market for us and uh, also present in, uh, in uh, Australia. Yeah? So we are uh, selling on the five um, continent and uh, willing to consolidate and help you um, develop recurrent sell uh, with uh, lesser consumables. Um, as I said, uh, we wish to help you grow your business, win new tenders and markets, um, please don't hesitate to visit us on our booth, uh, uh, 2P04 at the end of August, beginning of September. We'll be pleased to receive you, um, answer any of your questions, um, and share our experience with you. And of, and um, not saying that I'm available anytime, me personally, um, to attend all your questions, needs, uh, um, as I said, provide sample and uh, and much more. So that's uh, that's um, that's it for for me. If you have any question, don't hesitate to ask them now or contact me anytime. You can scan the QR code on um, on the presentation and uh, below my name or on the, most of the pages, and um, and. Um, 
um, well, you, we will be in contact um, directly together. Thank you, thank you, Arnold. You might want to just go back. Um, oh, okay, you've <laughs> stopped your slides. Okay, I thought you wanted no, to. I can, the... I can, uh, I can open it again. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's not uh, complicated. It, yeah, you might just want to leave the last slide with the uh, QR code, just in case uh, anyone is still scanning for your details. We'll or just leave it here for a minute. All right. While, um, yeah, while we look and see if um, there's some questions coming in. Okay, it looks like. Um, our audience is taking a bit of time with the questions. Okay. So but it's yeah. fine. I mean, the, the, the more important, the, the presentation will be online and uh, anyone can, uh, can contact us at, at any time. Hmm? That's right. Okay, perfect. In that case, then, thank you so much, Arnold. We will move on now to our third speaker today with uh, Miguel from Protect Life. Miguel, over uh, to you, please. Excellent. You, you are Daphne? It's right? Yes. That's right. Uh, good, good to meet you, Daphne, and uh, hope uh, will you be present in the in the fair in Singapore as well. Yes, that's right. I'll be there. Looking forward to to meeting you then. Yes, us too. Sa thank you very much. Thank you, and over to you now, Miguel. All right. So uh, it's my turn. Yes, that's right. No, hang on, hang on. Excuse me. Uh, did you see? Yes. Excuse me. Did you see? Uh, okay, cool, cool. You need to go into the presentation mode. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, it's on. I think it's on a already on a presentation mode. Uh, thank you, the the moderator today, and thank you, the uh, uh, medical there for Sorry, putting this together. Um, and, Sorry, it's not it's not on presentation mode yet. Um, the slideshow slideshow mode. It's, it's not it's not presentation mode yet. Uh, no, as in we see your slides in in the PowerPoint, but not in the. It's not. Yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, it's presentation mode yet? No, it's still in the PowerPoint mode, as in. Um, Hello. Yeah, it's not on presentation mode yet. So I can see your screen, but it's not, um, you have to turn it to the presentation slideshow. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, this is good. Okay, good, I'm sorry. Okay, so um, thank you very much for giving us this opportunity to, um, just, uh, to present our, our products. And uh, this is Miguel, um, I'm from Taiwan, Protect Life. And uh, a little bit different from the uh, two previous speakers, uh, I'm gonna talk to you about, uh, uh, it's, it's not human, it's a medical, it's a veterinary medicine. And uh, we develop and supply a POC, point of care uh, chemistry analyzer for veterinary uh, use. Uh, as you can see on our slide, this is our machine. This is what the machine looks like. Excuse me. Uh, hang on. Okay. okay. Uh, second slide. Uh, this is our uh, core competence. Uh, there are core competence. Number one is the disc, what we call a raging disc. Uh, this is a uh, raging disc. It's a microfluidic design. Uh, microfluidic design means uh, it has some very, uh, quite a few advantages. Uh, micro blood sample. Uh, many tests, uh, many tests in one run, uh, as compared with the one test, one single assay at a time. So this is what we call our uh, our reagent disc. Uh, it's in the form of microfluidic design. Uh, second thing is reagent uh, develop of uh, develop of um, reagent reagent disc. Uh, we are proud um, that we that this machine are able to test. Uh, many different kinds of um, analyzes, chemistry, electrolytes, and mineral assay, uh, all on the same platform. And the third thing is analyzer. Uh, the analyzer, uh, I'll talk to you more about this analyzer because this is a very uh, special, uh, unique uh, technology, what we call the full spectrum technology. Uh, so uh, full spectrum technology, meaning it can do many, many tests and many tests are also be able to expand it over time 
So it provides a good, very good uh, value for the money spent. So again, these three reagent discs, uh, the microfluidic design, the disc, and the reagent development, and the analyzer are the three core competences of our product. Uh, the, the main features, uh, number one, supports multi-species, uh, over 50 species. Uh, and, this, and number two is a spectrum, full spectrum module, full spectrum technology. Uh, uh, like I said, what, what, is it, what does it tell us? Uh, it's, it basically, this can do many tests, all kinds. Uh, apart from the uh, uh, competitor's product, uh, a veterinarian or a vet clinic or animal hospital have to buy three machines. Our product, you can only have to buy one. So like I keep saying, uh, this is it provides very good value for price, uh, good value for money spent. And the microfluidic design already, already spoken and user-friendly. Next page. Uh, like I said, this supports 50 multiple multi-species with built-in reference values. Uh, all kinds of animals, um, as you can see. Companion, dogs and cats. Exotic pets, like rabbits, like uh, like uh, some mouse and rats. Guinea pig, hedgehog, hamster, chinchilla. All these things are becoming more like pets nowadays at, at many, many families because of the, uh, yeah. This is kind of like, this is kind of like a trend. Laboratory mouse and rat, uh, for, for animal study. Economic, like a uh, horse, like cow, pig, sheep, goat. Uh, this chemical analyzer can, can also do economic animals. Avian, all kinds of birds, small size, medium size to large size birds, all kinds of parrots, and uh, even as big as eagle, pigeon, all kinds. Reptile. Uh, as you can see, turtle, lizard, chameleon, all kinds. So all these animals are, uh, can be tested on an analyzer and uh, with built-in reference value. Uh, this is, uh, okay, this is number one, this is possibly only the only one POC, point of care, veterinary camera, uh, chemistry analyzer using full spectrum technology. These works full spectrum technology, like I said, it covers chemistry tests, electrolytes, immunoassays. Uh, like I keep saying, it provides good value prior, uh, good value for, for money. And um, this was only a chemistry analyzer. Uh, any veterinarian would have to buy two additional instruments for a machine. It's one for all, it's one for all. Number two is lab accurate to reference uh, to reference instrument. Number three, expensive test menus, continuous uh, development and supply new analytes. Again, thanks to the um, uh, full spectrum technology. Full spectrum, as you can see, uh, it goes anywhere from uh, 340 nanometer wavelengths to almost to 780 nanometer wavelengths. All these uh, lights are visible. So, um, Again, so we can do lots of tests. Uh, as opposed to the future, uh, the filter module. The filter mod module is, our, is the conventional technology uh, used by our uh, many competitors. What does it mean? It means a limited wavelengths, limited test. We have uh, unlimited visible light wavelengths, so we can expand, uh, we can expand and develop new analyzers from time to time. So like I said, this is a very uh, multifunctional, all-in-one chemistry analyzer. Uh, some, uh, some overview of the differences in, from uh, mythology. As you can see, these four uh, quadrants on the top two, dry chemistry versus wet chemistry. So uh, what's the difference? Dry chemistry is like a, you know, the COVID-19 uh, uh, test. Night and rapid test is either positive or negative. It comes in a strip or comes in a cassette. It's a dry chemistry. Wet chemistry is a, it's another tra traditional uh, traditional type. Uh, it's a wet uh, chemistry reaction. 
uh, use red chemistry. On the on the below quadrants analyzer, um, as you can see, the big chemistry uh, analyzer uh, they use spectrum module, and we are uh, the only uh, word number one and the word only spectrum based POC small uh, analyzer. So what what is what does it do to us? What are the advantages? Uh, like I said, we have all kinds of tests, multifunctional, uh, multi-species. Uh, we can expand on tests from time to time. So again, this is a very uh, good uh, uh, analyzer uh, that gives you a lot of value and versatility. Excuse me. Okay, this page. Competitive uh, benchmarking. Uh, number one, of course, is our uh, analyzer. The product name is called Emishield. Second, Baxis. Third, Skylab. Fourth, Idex. Number five, Mercury. Number six, Fuji. Uh, if you look at the test, uh, the first, uh, the first, the one, the uh, the upper part is the chemistry. The second part is the electrolyzed. And the uh, the further down are the uh, immuno assay. We can do all uh, again thanks to our, our the technology that we use the full spectrum technology. But other co com um, competitors are not that complete and are being able to provide all kinds of tests. So this is the very big uh, difference from um, uh, the tests that we are able to do compared to others. And uh, our tests come in the form of rotor or disk. Rotor uh, gives you as many tests, as many as 16 tests. 16 tests, micro blood sample. I go back to the last slide. Only uh, 0 0.14 uh, microliter. That's, a, that, that's about, that's about uh, 0 0.14 cc. A micro blood sample gives you as many as 16 tests in one run. That's what we call the microfluidic design. Uh, so this is on the left is a rotor. On the right, it comes also in a disc. The disc uh, can give you as many as four tests, as, li as little as one, four tests. Uh, so it comes in, a, it's also available in single essay one test. On the other hand, you can do three discs in one run and any combination. So this whole uh, configuration or this uh, this whole thing can, can provide you, uh, can give you sticking tests at a time, or if you wish to do one test, follow-up. Uh, one test for follow-up, uh, you don't, uh, for, uh, to, uh, to be more cost-effective and time-effective for pet owners. Of course, if, if the dog comes in, it's an old dog, you can, you can do fructosamine, you can do T4, uh, you can also do TBA, total bio, total bio acid. Or you don't have to do that many, you can do one test at a time. Uh, there's a lot of convenience and versatility. Uh, user friendly, uh, put on the disc, inject a sample, uh, uh, time to uh, results in 12 to 15 minutes. Again, uh, the patient or the veterinarian or the patient uh, or the pet owners do not have to wait that long. It only takes one single visit uh, to, be able to, to be able to get your diagnosis and to be able to get your treatment in the same visit. So you don't have to come back once again, maybe a week later to see your result. Uh, that's, the, that's the biggest advantage of this POC uh, instrument. And but for this slide, it's a very user-friendly uh, operation. Uh, this, is, this is what the test looks like. On the upper part, it gives you basic information like date, like, like uh, the serial number, the serial number of this machine, and the part number of this rotor, and the lot number of this rotor. Species, canine, canine means dog. Uh, sample, serum, plasma. You can choose whole blood as well. Patient number, you can uh, enter one, two, three, ABC, or, or Ricky, you know, all, all kinds of box name. On the, on the middle part, it gives you the uh, test results. 
uh, glucose, total protein, albumin, BUN, creatinine, ALT, ALP, uh, GLOB, etc. H and L, H stands for high, L stands for low. So it gives you results in the middle and a reference range. Is, reference range means the normal range. If it is, if, if it is above the uh, normal range, it gives you a high. If it is below the reference range, it gives you a low. It's kind of like a reminder. On the bottom part, it gives you the QC status. Uh, it tells you about sample quality. The sample means or blood sample quality, if it has any interferences. So that's what a test, test looks like. Okay, here is the test menus. I mean, that's the that's the biggest part. And the first part is the chemistry, comprehensive screen tube. Screen tube is pre-surgery, liver, kidney, equine. Oh, equine is for horse, maybe reptile. Like I said, multi-species: bird, reptile, cold-blooded animals, turtle, lizards, etc. Bio asset, ammonia, and uh, tryptosamine to see your and to see your uh, sugar. The middle part is electrolytes. Immunoassay, T4, UAC are just best for your, it's kind of like a urine test. So apart from blood, we also can do urine test. CRP, that's the inflammation, you know, inflammation marker. The dimer, uh, is look for the, um, uh, uh, how to say, the dimer, I'm sorry. Um, uh, and uh, HbA1c, that's kind of like, look, uh, diabetic, diagnosis. Say A, that's another inflammation marker for feline, for cat. So, like I said, this chemistry, this chemistry analyzer is full multifunctional, multi species, uh, all in one analyzer. Uh, these are the tests that we, that we do that, uh, that compare with the big machine. And this test was done uh, in the Taiwan National Taiwan University uh, some time ago. And uh, we have a lot of, uh, plenty of collaboration with the academic institutions. Sometimes we develop, uh, we co-develop, we joint develop some uh, special test. For example, with National Taiwan University in Taiwan. And also we have some collaboration project with Ping Dong uh, Veterinary Medicine uh, University. So we have, we have, we, we have, uh, and after the collaboration, after the product is available, these academic institutions become our customers, become our users. And um, of course, these academic institutions, they have lots of samples, they have lots of data, and they have lots of uh, patients. So again, so our products are clinically proven and clinically accepted. At the end of the day, uh, these products sell back to them, or we can sell to the vet clinics. Uh, we have some plenty of end, end customers in Taiwan. Uh, Kenya, uh, Kenya exotic pet, we even sub supply to the zoo. So a zoo is not like exotic pets, they are exotic animals. We <laughs> also supply to the zoo, you just can't imagine. And we also supply to the wildlife. Wildlife means some, some deer, uh, some uh, deer or some wildlife, or some eagle or owl, uh, they get they, they, they get trapped or they get hurt in the forest. So the wildlife organization, they come and rescue uh, those animals and they use our chemistry analyzer to do some health check. So again, and, and further down the south is our, 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 our uh, clinics, our customers, just to name a few. Uh, apart from the customers in Taiwan, we also uh, supply to many customers in the world. Uh, we have plenty of customers in Europe. Lot. And as you can see the pictures, uh, these, is, these are the training, the training that we provide our distributors in the, uh, all around the world, mainly Europe and some in Asia. And these are our uh, customers, again, in Europe and in Taiwan. Uh, products are very well received and they are happy uh, with the, uh, uh, receiving and using our product. Uh, just to give you another uh, example of our of our customer in uh, in Taiwan, exotic animal, exotic pet, exotic animal clinic. Uh, some some uh, very rare animals come in. We give them health check, physical exa physical examination, um, blood test, 
a test, they used our chemistry analyzer. Um, again, all kinds of exotic animals. Uh, physical examination, blood test, imaging, x-ray, etc. cetera, the, just the standards. And our products is only like uh, one, one of the uh, uh, blood tests that they use. Uh, another exotic animal clinic in Taiwan, a rabbit, turtle, lizard, uh, parrots, etc. cetera. Uh, another uh, customer in Taiwan, they use our, uh, uh, um, they do, they do a test before surgery. For surgery, they have to look at your, uh, um, how do you say, a glucose level, look at your um, uh, kidney function or liver function. It's good for anesthetics before you can do the surgery. It's kind of like an SOP. Health check before surgery. Health check before surgery and health check before they do the oral examination or oral surgery. Again, they put the they put the pets, dogs or cats to sleep before they do that. Before they they, they give the anesthetics, they have to make sure everything metabolic uh, functions, animals, plus sugar are good, are able to uh, make it through the anesthetics. Uh, as a summary, support fifty species, uh, all in one analyzer, microblood sample. Uh, thanks to our uh, microfluidic design and uh, fast analyzing time, up to 50 minutes, come to results. You don't have to come in a second time the next visits. Uh, uh, all the pets are well diagnosed, confirmed, and treatment given in a same visit. Uh, the next step is the next step is our, our products will be uh, it will be able to do the firmware upgrade on a server, on a cloud. We're able to, it will also be able to do the prop shoot, troubleshooting as long as the products are, are, are connected, analyzer are connected 24 seven. Uh, so customers um, daily activities, veterinarians uh, work or daily, their daily work is, is not affected as long as they are connected. As long as the products are connected, which is we can just go in and do it all day up and troubleshooting for them. Uh, a very uh, uh, short uh, uh, portfolio of our company, 2010, has been a uh, com uh, company established, uh, 13485, ISO, GMP, PFDA, uh, et cetera. Uh, R&D, uh, automatic manufacturing, uh, customer service, uh, product uh, licensing, we can do this all. Uh, we have 20 patents, uh, eight China FDA, five certificates uh, uh, from uh, C certificates, five C products, and also DMP from Taiwan. Uh, can, if you have any questions at any time, scan the QR code. I will be happy to attend to your inquiry. So this is about uh, the, the, the product presentation of our company. Uh, uh, thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you, Miguel. Yeah, no, no problem. Thank you so much. So that's all we have for today. Um, so to the audience, if you have questions for our exhibitors um, or our speakers, please feel free to submit the questions via the Q&A button. And meanwhile, let me also share our screen. So our exhibitors will be at Medical Fair Asia exhibition this year, which will take place from 31st August to 2nd September. So if you have not registered, we invite you to submit your registration soon. Um, we are already open for visitor registration. You can do so via uh, this QR code that we have uh, presented here, and it brings you through our re visitor registration page directly. So. Do see them at their booths at the show and we also have this session recorded and it will be available for on-demand viewing so if you have colleagues who have missed the session today and you'd like to invite them to re-watch this it will be available in our online portal from 1st of August onwards and uh, they will have to be registered to gain access to the portal so do get them to register as well. In addition to that uh, we have more webinars coming up in the next few weeks. Um, the next one will be next Wednesday also in the afternoon at 3 p.m. 
So you can find more details on our website and register for the session directly. So let me just take a look. It seems like we don't have questions. And if that's the case, if you do have questions that come up later after the session ends, feel free to email it to us at medicalfair-asia at mda.com.sg. And we'll be happy to help you forward it on to the speakers to get back to you offline. So with that, thank you so much for all your time um, to our speakers as well. Thank you for joining us today and for your presentations. And um, that's all for today. We will see you next week. Thank you and goodbye.